You know, I can't blame her. I feel bad for you. I really did feel bad for you when he tried to run up after her um, at those steps when they got in the kitchen. When she left, she was, again, trying to get away from him because, like she said, you are embarrassing me. You know what I'm saying? Why do you have to do this? I'm tired from working all the time, and I just want you to be by my side. You know what I'm saying? And he don't know how to do it, y'all. And to be honest, y'all, and, and, and my husband said it yesterday, and I've been saying this. You know, and I did not want to put it out like that. But Ralph might be gay. He might be gay. He don't have no type of feelings towards this woman at this point. Like, and we see this when men are dating women, knowing that they're gay. They don't give a fuck about their feelings because they really don't want to be with a woman. They want to be with a man. And everything that you're trying to make me do, I don't want to do it. Like, you you want me to be this type of way and, and say this to you and, and, and make sure you're feeling like, I really don't give a fuck. You know, and this is how he is acting. I think that Ralph is gay. I really do. And I think in the headlines, y'all, sooner or later on social media, we're going to see that. Because there's no way that a man would have no feelings towards his wife. I don't give a fuck if y'all are on the brink of divorce. You still act like you care about her feelings in some type of way. And he could, he don't understand. He was like, well, what did she do to me? Like, bitch, I'm not with you. In his mind, he's not with Drew. He's just really not. Ralph was trying to tell the therapist that, you know, I have been trying. I have because she like, well, he ain't been trying. He ain't been working, you know, on the marriage. Like, I have this and this and that. And Ralph was like, I have been working on the marriage. You know what I'm saying? I worked on the marriage when, you know, I moved out the room. And then, like, that was, like, very, you know, as a matter of fact, in his statement, like, yeah, bitch, I did do something. I moved out. You know, and like he said, he felt very liberated in that moment, girl. And that's exactly what you was given, Ralph. That's exactly what you were given. Like, yeah, I am free. I can do what I want. And I don't have to abide by any of this marital stuff, you know, that I don't want to do in this room. I could just leave, you know, and not even deal with her. You know, and that's just too much, y'all, because like I said in my last video, a man always wants their wife in the bed with them. They just always do. You know what I'm saying? And once he don't want you in the bed, you know what I'm saying, and don't care to get between your legs, girl, it is over. It is over, girl. And I just, at that point, that's a serious red flag. You know, and then you still ask him, well, when you going to come back to the room? And he tell you, you know, I don't know. Girl, like, that's too much. Yeah, so then Drew is telling him, well, you know, telling the, telling the therapist, well, yeah, the kids was concerned because, you know, and then showing them the text and everything, showing Ralph and the, the therapist the text, telling them, yeah, and the child basically was asking, um, what's going on with daddy? He acting different, and why is he not sleeping in y'all room? Um, he's sleeping in the guest room, and then when we tried to sleep in the guest room with him, then he was like, no, he ain't want us in there. That's because he's done with the family whole dynamic, the whole life, the whole shit. And first of all, Drew, as soon as he would have told your kids that they can't sleep with him, that's a problem. And why are you treating my kids in that way? You still supposed to be nice to the kids. You can't be nice to me and you can't be nice to the kids, y'all. I would have flipped my coop then. That's when I really would have flipped. If I wouldn't have flipped it by the time he moved out the room, I would have definitely flipped it in because now, bitch, you acting like my kids is a problem. No, you need to get up and leave. You need to leave right now because you don't want to be here, and I see that. And that's a problem. Drew keep taking any and every fucking thing that he's doing, and I don't even know why at that point he moved out of the room. He could have just moved out the house. That's what he should have did, you know? But she said that whole thing, yeah, um, I told the kids, you know, I'm at work um, and I'm coming in late and it's disturbing daddy in the middle of the night. So, you know, it's hard for him to get up in the morning, you know? And then Ralph will have nerve to say, yeah, and you see that, you see that? She's telling him she don't know what I'm doing. What are you talking about? Like, that's crazy. He just said it when clearly she just made a whole reason of why you weren't in the room to the kids. And my husband right then and there was like, see that baby, he's wanting to be right. That's all that matters to Ralph is that he's right. And I'm like, damn, because that ain't make no no sense to me. Like, I was just like, okay, we all heard the story, saw the text of what she told to calm the situation down. And this is what you tried to give? Like, that was stupid. And obviously, he was trying to be right. It was nothing I could say to my husband. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, that is right. Because it, it made no sense. You know what I'm saying? And I couldn't even comment back to my husband because that was stupid to even, like, what? 
you just wanted to be right, but we clearly saw that you were like dead wrong in the situation. Hey everybody, it's your girl Sassy. Y'all, let's just get into this episode, okay? Of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, girl. And it is the last episode before the reunion, might I add, okay? Okay, y'all. So, Drew is trying to tell Ralph's ass, okay, how Courtney, his cousin, okay, basically called her a bitch, which is petty, but, you know, we got to run with the storyline, okay? Um, and, yeah, she don't appreciate it because, you know, I mean, we're supposed to be family, you know what I mean? And the way that Courtney used it was kind of fucked up. Like, she was saying, this bitch, like, yeah, you already don't fuck with me. So, she's trying to tell Ralph and show Ralph the video that um, Monietta sent to her. Mm -hmm. And Ralph asked her, you know, well, how do you feel about that? And she like, well, no, that was for you. You know what I'm saying? I sure about fucking cousin. How do you feel about that? And he was like, well, you know, yeah, you and your friends call each other bitches all the time. You know? Mm -hmm. And so, Drew was taken aback. You know, she like, well, hold on now. Um she's doing this behind our back you know what i mean and you know ralph was just like what did she do to me ralph first of all bitch key word is our we're in this marriage together and when i'm mad you're mad okay you need to understand that and i don't know how he don't know that by now bitch if you beefing with me then my husband is beefing with you just know that, okay? My husband, fuck that. My husband go to bat with me each and every time. If I'm talking about something that happened at work, if I'm talking about one of my family members, if I'm talking about anybody out in the street that might have slightly even said something to me out of place or out of wrong, my husband is there to defend me, and he is pissed. You know what I'm saying? You don't thought they put their hands on your girl, okay? Because everybody knows that the sun rises and sets on Donna's ass, okay, y'all? That's my government name, Donna. And everybody know the sun rises and sets on my ass, honey. So the minute I let my husband know that somebody talk to me any type of way or treat me any type of way, he is mad, like, more mad than me, okay? So that's how it's supposed to be, and he got it all fucked up, you know what I'm saying? So Drew go downstairs, and she's just upset and crying, you know what I'm saying? She's really upset, and the sister had her back. She told Ralph, she was like, look, I don't care if the girl called Drew a banana. <laughs> I don't care if she called her a banana, okay? Start there, okay? Start there since you don't know what to do, okay? Because clearly you don't know how to be and how to do y'all. And that's the thing with Ralph, y'all. He don't know how to be and how to act in this marriage. And I don't know when Drew started realizing this. Maybe in the beginning when she was all, you know, happy-go-lucky and it was the newlywed phase and she kind of like let a lot of shit fly over her head that she didn't really worry about these red flags that she got with Ralph. And actually she did say that that's what happened. She let a lot of shit go. You know what I'm saying? So he is used to being this way with her and he really don't understand why she's making a big deal now. Like I said, why are you crying? Because any other time she probably just looked past the shit. You know what I'm saying? But now, she's starting to make her feel a certain type of way. Like, her husband doesn't care about her feelings or fuck with her feelings and what she feel and think. Then she's bothered. You know what I'm saying? Too much. You can't keep pushing shit under the rug with people. You just can't. You, you can do it for a little while, y'all. But after a while, it just gets to be a nuisance. And you have to speak up for yourself, you know, and stop the treatment that you are getting. So, you know, she just, at this point, is fed up with it. And I don't blame her. You know what I'm saying? I don't blame her. She needs to get out of this marriage, which she has, and rightfully so. Yeah, they get to the therapist because she done dragged this nigga off to the therapist again. You know what I'm saying? And just like the therapist asked her, her at the end, and I just need to say this right now because that's what really needs to be talked about. You know what I'm saying? Where do you want to go with this relationship with this person? How much are you willing to rekindle with this man right here? Because that's what he asked Drew. You know what I'm saying? Because what he's telling her is he don't care nothing about you. So how long are you going to keep going with this? And when are you going to leave it alone? You know what I'm saying? And usually people don't want to just come out and tell you to do that. But he's hitting around and not trying to be disrespectful to Ralph as he's sitting there telling you that you basically need to leave this relationship alone because this man right here in front of you does not care. You know what I'm saying? He's not trying to work on anything. Anyway, y'all, the show fast forwards to all of the social media um, stuff that's going on about them getting a divorce and now um, 
Drew was messing with Ty, Mimi's, y'all know Mimi from Love and Hip Hop. I love Love and Hip Hop, y'all. I review that too, so go watch that. Um, how Drew has been messing with Mimi's ex, Ty, who was a basketball player, you know, and she's gay. Um, and that, you know, basically, Drew is trying to deny it, as if they're just friends. And Ralph is trying to deny it too, saying that they're just friends, you know. But then Courtney is on there saying how, yeah, she got the pictures to show certain shit. She saw certain stuff. Mm -hmm. Ralph did tell her that Drew is messing with um, Ty or whatever. So we don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to take Courtney because Courtney just seemed like a lot for TV. And she might even be fucking lying. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Um, but I think several other people was like they did see drew out with Ty so you know it might be a thing and then they went into the fact that they are in fact getting a divorce you know and that Drew actually filed first she was the first one filing first because y'all remember when they first hit headline they were saying Ralph filed you know and then later on they were saying Drew filed first and then Drew told the story about how um his lawyer made him hurry up and run down there and file on her you know, so he ended up filing six hours later, which, you know, he would do some bitch ass shit like that. That's who Ralph is. He's a bitch ass nigga and he would want the world to know, no, I, I left the marriage first, you know, so I can see that. Anyway, they're sitting there and, you know, Drew is just broken. She's broken. I, I, I do understand that she took a lot from him. You know, but nobody wants to see the demise of a marriage. They just don't. I know I don't. And I was deeply hurt for her. When she sat down, y'all, and my husband was like, for real, baby? I was like, yeah. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all this part. When she sat down for the first time, okay, and as soon as she sat down and turned around, y'all, I saw this facial expression that she had and her whole body language y'all she looked like she was really hurt and I felt her pain y'all wanna know why it's because it was the first time that she was on camera without her husband in a time where they were together you know this is the first time damn I'm really on TV now and I'm a divorced woman and Ralph is not by my side whether we arguing whether we beefing whether we fucking whatever whatever we doing it's just officially the men and Ralph are over you know what I'm saying and I just felt her pain in that moment y'all it was so sad and I was like damn and as soon as she said it they was like are you okay and she was like this is just the first time you know that I'm not on here with Ralph you know we used to be so happy to listen to that and I said I told you my husband was like but I said that's what I was thinking y'all got to be like that would be my first thing as soon as i sat down like damn the whole environment is different because i no longer have my husband you know what i'm saying and that's just a fuck it y'all and i was like damn y'all i be in tune with people feelings a lot you know what i'm saying and i felt bad for drew in that moment but um they started to talk about you know basically they called their lawyer that's what it was can i talk about this can i talk about that and yeah ralph you can't talk about any infidelities honey okay and probably true too with ty because y'all know that's the first thing i never forget that's the first thing the lawyers go after because you are not supposed to cheat in your marriage so that's the first thing they go after was there any infidelities in the relationship because that means that you caused some of the demise of the relationship so you are not supposed to be cheating and if um, one of their lawyers got wind of that and it was the truth, then, you know, somebody ain't getting no alimony and somebody not going to get their, their checks right. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody don't have to pay to a cheating spouse. That's what it is, y'all. And so, yeah, they was very careful with that. And I was glad that um, in that moment that, you know, Drew did call. You know, Ralph, I don't give a fuck. You know, you wanted to cheat. You wanted to do all this. But to be honest, y'all, both of them are wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because she even said she let certain things go and him cheat on her with women. And so that's your fault. You know what I'm saying? You knew he wanted other women. You knew he wanted to be with other women. And now you're upset and mad at the demise. I don't understand it. Like, I just, you know, coming from a marriage that, you know, we don't have any of that. At least I think so. You know what I'm saying? You never know what people are doing. But, you know, me and my husband are committed to each other. And if he ever cheated on me, I would be devastated. You understand? So I just, 
And then on top of that, not only that, I know that is a, a pact that we have. We are, we would never cheat on each other. We, we're not going to do no threesomes or anything like that. Anything that would tarnish your relationship or, or has the potential to break out a pot, you just don't fuck with it. And that goes for even people. You know what I'm saying? People are trying to come between God, family members, anything. Anything that has the potential to fuck y'all up and break y'all up, we don't fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing. And she did not build a barrier in her marriage that she allowed this man to cheat on her. And then I could say the same thing for her because she was allowed to cheat with Ty. That's how it looked because he knew full on well that she was with this girl. You know what I'm saying? And he admitted it kind of, but he kind of slid back out of it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Drew, I, I just, I don't know. It's mixed feelings. Um, I do feel bad for her, but at the same time, girl, you did a lot and you let him go with a lot of stuff and yeah, how could you not know this would be the end eventually? You know what I'm saying? But y'all, that is all for this video. Um, yeah, I'm on mess at work. And so, yeah, yeah, I will talk to you ladies and gentlemen later, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.